Morning folks, I'm in the process of making my uh, superhero costume, yeah, the green bean flicking machine, or so, no not really, it's obviously going to be the canopy for the beer garden, it look a little bit dark in here, does a touch doesn't it, how's that, so the idea is uh, we're going to cut the fabric to length, and in each sort of section, if you like, we're going to be putting a little bit of this steel conduit to create, well, something a bit like that. If I get the right section, I'll be able to show you a little bit better. There we go. So it lifts, lifts the fabric like this in sections and then we can fold it away to the wall or we can extend it all out across the top of the beer garden that'll be the colour underneath, the slightly lighter green that'll be the colour from the top it's a shame it's not double sided really and unfortunately it already seems to have picked up quite a bit of muck from the floor which I'm not happy about uh, so it's probably a good job I went with a cheaper fabric to make this anyway um, it's going to be one of those projects where I'm not really sure how it's going to end up looking until I've completed it. So I'm going to make one of them anyway today if I can. I need to go home and get the sewing machine. I've been here all morning sorting out uh, the last bits of uh, the HR documents and some other things. So that we're... God, it's going to take a while to put it all to bed anyway. But yeah, that's distracted me until gone 12. And we also had a new POS system installed, Clover, if you've heard of it. So that also took up two or three hours. So uh, I'm going to go and get the sewing machine. And uh, when I come back, I'm going to see if I've got any green thread. If not, I'm going to go to Wilco's and buy some. And then we're going to get this sewn up. Hey, seems, uh, yeah, seems fun, doesn't it? No. So the plan is at the moment, so the plan is iron the woo, <laughs> material along the hem, which I've done, and uh, that then should give me a nice folded edge that I can run the sewing machine down. So I've cut the full length that I require, which is about seven and a bit meters. We've got a meter between each support. And then there's 100 mil to sew the support in, and then there's 500 mil on the end to hang off, and then there's 70 mil for the hems either end also, and we've double hemmed both sides of the material. And uh, now all I need to do is sew the hem in on the sides, and then we'll go ahead and measure as square as possible to the length all of these uh, support hems if you like, uh, whatever you call them, uh, and work all the way down the material until we've got one of them complete, and then we'll be inserting the metal pole that's behind you. It's basically 20 mil conduit. Uh, that's the plan anyway, so I've got the full seven, eight, six, seven, eight meters, double hemmed both sides. Now it's just time to set up the old sewing machine, which is over here and uh, I've got to wind the bobbins and all that kind of jazz and get the, uh, get the right thread in place. So the thread I've picked up is uh, this colour green for this side, you can't really see very well so I'll try and get a, try and get a little bit of a zoom in here. So yeah, this colour green to match the outside and then on the inside We've got a slightly paler green. Not going to make any difference, I guess, because, uh, well, it's the same green on the outside. Either way, I will wind 
we'll use the pale one for the bobbin and the dark one for the uh, for the machine proper and we'll see how we get on with it so let's get all this pushed to one side get the machine set up and then we'll start sewing really helps people. It gives you a really good sense of well-being. It can counteract or at least help calm and put into perspective the problems and things that can cause anxiety and depression. Without being too corny, I am on your page here because I can be guilty and I must admit, and I've stopped doing it now, but I can be guilty of walking around and being on my phone, checking social medias. And it's amazing. You leave the phone at home, you go for a walk, you don't have to go that far into the countryside and you start hearing things. You start hearing birds <laughs> and you start noticing the flowers around, you start noticing the well, this certainly ain't the easiest task I've ever completed. So, it's half past five. We've hemmed the whole uh, piece of cloth all the way around. Remember, this is just one uh, canopy. There are two more to do. Granted, I didn't start till one, two o'clock, something like that. So I imagine that the second and third will go a little bit quicker than today. And I had to walk into town to get thread and everything like that. Uh, but what I've done is uh, I've managed to put two or three of these sections in. These are going to be like the, uh, the bar supports. So uh, inside there we'll run our piece of metal and that is what will hold the canopy on the wires. Just pull this around. So what I'm doing is uh, I've got a stick with measurements on, so I'm keeping it repeatable every time. And I'm trying to keep sail cloth, whatever it's called, canopy cloth, square when I uh, put a fold in there by lining up the edges as you do i'm sure you've all done that when you've cut pieces of paper and stuff before and then i'm pushing the edge of the stick up to the last stitch so we're going from the stitch to the stitch and we're measuring a meter between pleats or cleats whatever you want to call it here and we're slowly getting there it's just not the easiest thing in the world to make sure that of course you got your measurements right, because if I move down this, uh, you'll see when it's up, but if I move down the canopy and any measurements are off, then the supports, instead of them being parallel, they'll start to drift, you know, one way or another. So we need to keep them as parallel as possible. So we'll just start this stitch here and then we'll lock the stitch in. There we go. So yeah, I'm folding where the center of the support is going to be. Then I'm folding again to the base where the stitch is going to be. And then I'm using the foot of the sewing machine. Uh, and I'm use, using the iron seam as a guide for the foot of the sewing machine. That's what I meant to say. And then we're running down it one way. And then I'm moving across half the width of the sewing machine foot and I'm putting a second seam in. So where the canopies are being supported by the metal poles, we're double stitching the seams to make sure that should there be any weight up there, rainwater, whatever, they shouldn't, they shouldn't be out really when, when there's adverse weather conditions more of a sunshade than a rain shade but if they are then all this wind then I'm hoping the double stitched seams will hold the thing together that's the plan anyway I mean most of the time my plans work occasionally they don't and I've also been upstairs this morning and I've ordered all the steel for the railings outside so we just need to order half a dozen maybe a dozen more bricks to finish the wall off and then we'll be ready to weld up the fencing in a week or two and Gemma has also cast some steel
missed out today. So uh, tomorrow I think she's going to be doing the vacant for us or the, the neck oil clone which doesn't yet have a name. And then uh, next week if we don't start to manufacture the iron railings then we'll be brewing. Yes. As of what I'm brewing yet, I'm not really sure. Right then, so you can see we've just put that one stitch in. Get rid of these tails. And that now, I can pop the steel pipe down there. And then we can stick eye hooks through on the top and support it on a cable. But like I said, I want to put a double stitch in. So let's just get that started and then you can join me as we run this final or the second stitch across the whole shebang. And once you've got a stitch in, I do find it a lot easier. But the cloth ain't gonna move by too much then. So you just bust straight across. Being careful not to stitch anything that you shouldn't be, because I've done that in the past when I made the Roman blinds. Oh, let's come in. Why not give you? Why not have a little bit of an action shot while we're at it, folks? Hey. From home brewing to sewing channel. How many other YouTubers have made that? <laughs> that uh, what you can only consider very original leap from one subject to another. Oh, oh, there we are. So we're out. So we'll just zip that off. And while you're here, you'll be able to see that we've got two seams down there. I don't know if you can if it's showing up or not. Maybe not so well. And then we're interlocked on the end, a couple of zigzags over the stitches to make sure we're locked in. And then that is where said pole will be going. There we go. Right, zoom back out. I've got a little bit more to do on this. Uh, four more of those to be exact and then that'll be canopy one done so if I can get one done in a day in half a day then that means I'll get two done tomorrow right and maybe we'll be hanging them on Thursday maybe so one of the most important aspects of making this whole thing is keeping both sides and all of the support bars parallel and the fact that I've got 60 mil both sides of this actual final piece of work, the last cut if you like, sort of tells me that yes, I've got it. So I'm just going to buzz across this with the pinking shears, then I've got a double hem to put in and the final support bar so that should just be two runs through the sewing machine and I've got the first one complete never had pinking shears before Beautiful. Right, it is time for us to go home, but I think I'm far enough with this so I can uh, show you what it's all about. So if we just start unraveling Gem, trying not to drop her on the floor in poo, because the floor's wet. 
And then there, it smells like cucumber, that's the colour. Cucumber green. There we go. So that will be, watch out darling, I don't want them barrels to pull off. All those uh, flaps, if you like, will have a bar in them to obviously lift it up to where it needs to be. And then maybe we'll put like a little bit of an angle on it like that. But it won't be dipped in the middle is what I'm trying to say. When it's finished, it'll be a big canopy. What does it look like underneath? Yeah. It's not a bad colour, is it? No. Don't go down to the barrels, darling, in case I pull them off. Right. Well, I think that We'll look the part once it's up. I just need to figure out a good way how to anchor it. And of course, we'll be doing that tomorrow or the next day, depending on where I get with the final two sections to be sewn up. But it looks level and even, don't you think? So join us on the next one and we'll see how far we get tomorrow. And hopefully we'll get it on this week at some point. See you later.